everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this is the Bible Reloaded. With a chick track. Yeah, it feels like it's been a while. Uh, it's been, uh, three weeks. Three, three weeks. weeks. Yeah. So here we are, we're looking at yet another chick track, and this one has lots of good stuff. The best part to me is the title already. It's not your fault. But it looks like it's that kid's fault. Yeah, it really does. Look at him. I feel like this is either going to be a uh, molestation story or a self-harm story. I have only I can only see the first panel and I have not read this. I would have said shot for shot remake of Goodwill Hunting. Ooh. Okay. It's good. Do you guys get the reference? It's not your fault. And then he cries into Robin Williams' arms, but while Robin Williams was alive. Man, it's really lucky for us that references uh, count as jokes now. Do they? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Family Guy seems to think so. Oh. Thanks, Seth MacFarlane. Hey. Don't have to work anymore. <laughs> His name was Bobby Bonds. It's a simple suicide case, Inspector. It appears so, but first I want to interview all the kids living here. Pretty impressive that the seven-year-old lifted himself up and could tie a perfect noose. He was really, really depressed, and he probably looked it up on Google uh, uh, on how to kill yourself and then got taken to one of those Tumblr pages. Where someone thought they were a dragon or something, and then they are off themselves. Hey, my the internet. <laughs> my child is a dragon. I'll have you know. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to buy costume jewelry for him to eat. It's very concerning. I just think it's because you have a stupid kid. Because he's five, and all five-year-olds are stupid. Ralph, I understand you slept in the same room with Bobby. Do you know why he took his own life? No. <laughs> This is the noise I make. I'm uncomfortable all the time. I'm really glad that you stopped talking, Ralph. It make, it joys me. This little guy's terrified. Something's going on here. I know this because I'm a detective. He has a hunch, which is the best way to solve crimes. You could have Hunches. clues, but it's like, I have a feeling in my gut something more is happening here. Inspector, that foster home, Happy Halls, has an almost perfect record and it's rated top in the state. What does almost perfect record for an orphanage mean? Like occasionally someone will just fucking die randomly in the middle of it? He asked that very same question. Almost perfect? What happened? Also, you're looking good in that uniform today. Do we have to go through this every day? We... You had to talk to HR. I know Jack. I'm in charge of HR. I know. That's what makes this very awkward. You keep having. You, you say you're setting yourself. Turn around. To... Okay. Just like, a little bit. The last time you said. No, turn around. I'm. I, okay. I'm. I'm turned around. Mm. Last time you said mm. you set yourself to an HR seminar, you came back with in and out. I don't think it was a seminar. I think you got lunch and jerked off. Well, two years ago, another seven-year-old committed suicide there. That's definitely a red flag, because children often do not commit suicide, especially at the age of seven. My accent's gone. I'm ordering an autopsy as soon as possible. I thought we were already gonna do- I mean, we're cops. Yeah, sometimes we don't autopsy people. I just- honestly, I just Sometimes they die in jail, and then- and then Twitter- Twitter blows up. I just want to know what the inside of a seven-year-old looks like if I'm being real honest. It's gooey, but it's just less goo than normal-sized human. That's probably what kills us in the end. Excess adult goo. <laughs> you are not. You should not be in charge of the autopsy over overseeing or whatever. This kid had a tough life, Frank. He had a history of broken bones, fresh bruises, and brutal sexual abuse. I mean... Brutal. This was not your garden variety sexual abuse. Even I, as a sexual abuser, keep that under your cap, found this to be a little excessive in the abuse area sexually. I was afraid of that. I was specifically afraid that you would apply an adjective to the amount of sexual abuse that this child was experiencing during his life. I mean, I cut him in a Y shape as you do, yep. and I fucked him in his Y hole. <laughs> and I thought what happened when he was alive was a little much, if I'm being totally honest. How do you... How do you fuck a wild hole? Okay. I mean, for a friend. I'm asking for a friend. You cut it open, and yep. then you re-sew it with your dick in it, and you get it just as tight as you want. Don't ever let anyone tell you that home ec in high school didn't teach you anything. I learned really, really good tight sewing techniques. It's the same thing, but I'm using it to fuck a boy's 
Corp. Wow. <laughs> you know, Jake. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I say something, and I look back in character, at, even, and then you're like, "Oh God, is this the real me?" <laughs> Based on what we do, I made a dollar saying that. <laughs> oh fuck's sake! That is the worst thing that you've ever said in your life, and and I bleeped another thing out. This is worse than that, but I'm keeping it because it's like, oh, see, can we please see the chief? We see the chief. (laughs) Chief, not one of those kids gave me a straight answer. The only guy that gave me brutal honesty was the coroner and he's fucking chests. I want a complete physical for each child prior to their death because I do not want that guy just. He'll soil their insides. Let's get them out of there while we investigate. I'll contact Child Protective Services, Frank. Also, did you say, uh, the guy that we hire in the morgue is fucking kids' chests? I... I would not... That's the best way to describe the situation, yeah. He's... he's... You know how they cut him in a Y shape? He's really good at home, Mac. It's a whole... it's a whole thing. Okay, because I told him to stick to the butts. At, you, the, at the funeral, no one notices the butt. Hold on. Why are we... This is something that we should probably discuss later. Close happy halls? Impossible! Judge Stone won't allow it! Think of the children! We are. Get those kids ready, Mr. Kistler. They're getting physicals. No way! I'm calling the Judge Stone! He put them here... He'll put a stop to this outrage. Also, I give them routine physicals at breakfast and at lunch just to make sure that everything is passing correctly. Is there no justice? I'm so frustrated. My eyes are closed. Look at me. What the fuck is going on? Wait, hold on. Okay, let's take a look at this. Zoom in. Zoom enhance. In. Okay. I can't enhance, so I can just zoom. So it looks like the door's open. And right. it looks like behind that woman is the door yeah, that's she's open. With a hinge. With a hinge. She's but, peeking but, through it. But her arm has to be yeah, beyond, yeah. between the door it's like, and the door frame. It's like Drop Dead Fred. She doesn't exist? Is she a figment of this guy's imagination? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, she's, um, I don't know how to describe that perspective. I'm trying to make a, trying to make an excuse for Chick here. I think that's a fuck up. Stone is on vacation. Call a lawyer instead. You're gonna need one, you creep. Am I gonna see Judge Stone again? No, Ralph. He is still on vacation. Judge Lewis is handling your case today. That evening. Miss Carpenter, this is Ralph, the newest member of your family. Come in, please. Are you, are you gonna hurt me, too? Of course not, Ralph. Believe me, I would never slit you open like the letter Y and fuck you. That's exactly what's been happening to the other children. If it, if someone else cuts you open, though, I might scissor where, where they stapled you just a little bit, though. Oh my god. It's more of a staple fetish than anything. It's this, is, this is the darkest thing I've ever heard in my whole life. So far. <laughs> I don't believe anyone anymore. The chief is steaming mad. He wants you in his office right now. What did you do, Frank? I I have no idea. I definitely had nothing to do with the covering up the uh, post-mortem molestation. Is this about the Y chest fuck gate? Wait, you you know about the Y chest fuck guy too? This is this is happening. Y chest fuck gate is blowing open so hard. Hashtag Y chest fuck gate <laughs> on Twitter, please. Well, you stepped on someone's toes. It was the white chest fuck guy. God damn it. I knew I couldn't trust Jerry. The mayor yelled at me for 15 minutes. Your suicide case is closed, Frank. That's not how cases... You got yelled at for 15 minutes and now we're not doing this. The the child was hanging from the, the ceiling. Shut the fuck up. Happy Halls is back in business. It's done, Frank. I got so much paper... You know how much paperwork is involved with someone slitting someone's chest open in the shape of any letter, much less a Y, and then coming within the orifice that they create. A lot? I I, I assume it's a civil case as well. I'll be totally honest with you. Less than I thought. One form. 
Didn't even have to sign it. We have a form specifically for that? Yeah, I was shocked too. How has this not been addressed before in the in the public eye? Apparently everyone is cool with this. As long as we're allowing people like him to do this to the bodies, he won't do it to living people. That's the arrangement we have decided. But chief... Shut up, Frank. You're lucky you still have a badge. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> and other Danny Glover lines. Why does that lady read us her Bible at dinner? Is she crazy? No, she really loves God. And all of us, too. So, that sicko who crawled into my bed at night used to say that, too. <laughs> you know, that sicko who used to crawl into my bed at night. Often, uh, I hear pedophiles just pray all the time as they're about to rape children. Maybe he just said, oh, God, a lot. Maybe. That kid has very little understanding of what happened to him. He's gonna re- A lot is gonna be revealed to him in his 30s when he finally gets some therapy. This is so goddamn dark. This is the darkest chick tract I think we've ever done. And we had one where a girl got kidnapped. <laughs> Three months later. No, stop! Get away from me! Help! Yeah! Ralph's having another nightmare, Mrs. Carpenter. Bring him into the kitchen, Ricky. I keep seeing his face in my dreams. Bobby recognized him two nights before he died. I told Bobby not to tell anyone, but he did! I know who he is too, but I played dumb to stay alive. (laughs) Ralph has seen some shit. (laughs) (laughs) Who is he, Ralph? It's slimy old Judge Stone! This is the Scooby- this is like a Scooby-Doo mystery. Except you, you, instead of taking off his mask, you just find child pornography on his laptop. <laughs> like the guy who worked with Jared at Subway. Oh, poor Jared who got a lot of flack for that. Yeah, he had nothing to do with that as far as I know. Sorry, Jared. Subway still makes you a pedophile, though. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to kill him, Kistler, and his wife, because I hate their guts! Of course I understand. Does that mean we can do, like, a sweet mentor training montage thing and you can teach me how to kill, like, an assassin? I'm not as badass as that, but maybe let me talk to you, like, for, like, five minutes and we'll see where this goes, okay? If that fails, then we can do a Kill Bill-style revenge quest. I've been there and thought that. What? You wanted to kill somebody, too? Not just kill Ralph, but torture. I had murder in my heart. All I could do was think about them constantly. I'm pretty fucked up. Did I mention that? I have some major mental issues that I need to work out. Luckily, we have an establishing shot to calm everyone down. What happened? My husband and I were missionaries in Rwanda, Africa. Rwanda? Rwanda. Like where Don Cheadle went to film that movie? Yeah. The prequel to Iron Man 2. (laughs) We had a small church and we loved the people and they loved us. Probably because of the food we gave them. Maybe. Maybe not. Could have had something to do with that. I don't know a lot about Rwanda because I'm seven years old. And I've only seen the inside of an orphanage. Tribal hatred kept building in Rwanda. The powerful Hutu tribe secretly armed themselves to destroy the outnumbered Tutsi tribe. Why did you uh, put those in quotes? Because those were, they're, they're, they're proper nouns. You don't have to do, they're not like concepts. How do you read my thought bubble mind? You, you put your hands in here and use air quotes because you're so, I think you're racist. War exploded. The Hutus att- See, now I'm not using air quotes for some reason. Because I called you out. War exploded. The Hutus attacked with machetes, killing every Tutsi they could Why find. Why are you not in the girl voice? Oh, yeah, sorry. War exploded. <laughs> the Hutus attacked with machetes, killing every Tutsi they could find. But we lived with the Tutsi people. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Uh, You started to say Hutu and Tutsi so much, it just sounds like characters from the Care Bears. It's a lot like the Care Bears, but instead of a Care Bear stare, it's genocide. Which is a lot like Care Bears. Undertones, Hallmark. We get it. (laughs) There were United Nations troops standing by as the raging Hutus slaughtered the terrified people. Is this supposed to tell me how much God loves us? I saw Hotel Rwanda, so now I'm making up a story for you. (gasps) The UN troops didn't lift a finger to stop the bloodbath. Do you know why? Because they were black? Because we are peacekeepers, not peacemakers. We are only to observe. Oh, I don't know if you understand how the UN works. They're not supposed to engage if they don't have... Jack Chick has things to say. No, but they don't have... The ones we thought would help us didn't. The UN abandoned us. The cowardly superpowers didn't care. Well, it's because they... You have to, like, probably someone like Russia shh, 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 or don't, 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 we're not going to talk about how the UN works. Jack Chick doesn't care. It's a one world government. It only it, takes one of them to it's shut gonna, it down. The Antichrist is going to 
get with them and they're gonna do bad things with all the power they have because clearly the UN gets so much fucking done. (laughs) Oh, okay, continue. While the terrorists butchered all our church members, my husband tried to stop them. They chopped him into pieces before my eyes. That's horrifying. I mean, that's really bad. After murdering Bob, they turned on me like wild dogs. I was next. Did you also get chopped to pieces? Because you seem kind of intact. The monsters attacked and did unspeakable things to my body. I mean rape. Apparently Jack Chick has no problem depicting rape or child rape, but can't use the word rape. Hours later, they left me for dead. That's that's a lot of rape. That's not even a little bit of rape. That's... That was your day. Has Jack Chick never read, like, you know, the Bible? Where it's all rapey? Yeah. Wow, all those men should have clearly married her. Right. And also, like, righteous men give up women for rape, like, several times in the Bible. It's, like, no big deal, right? Yeah, totally. Oh, okay. So this is just, like, this is just, like, seasoning on the story. This really doesn't have anything to do with it. But Jesus was with me through it all, not the United Nations. Wait, 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 hold on, Jesus? You were getting gang raped by violent, machete-wielding terrorists after they murdered your husband, and Jesus was just hanging out in the corner, being trendy and long-haired and his fancy flip-flops, and was just like, it's no big deal, lady. It's, it's, it's gonna be fine. Just like mind over matter, the whole forceful penis in your orifice. Here's the thing about Jesus. Jesus is a hands-off guy, and Jesus likes to watch. So I'm actually a little flattered that Jesus felt like this was worthy enough of his spank bank that he didn't stop it, so we could keep it in mind for later. This um, that's just fucked up. Yeah. Oh. This whole thing is. I was in the hospital for six months with constant nightmares. You were hospitalized for six months? I don't think you understand the amount of tearing there was. Oh my god. Everywhere. Jesus fucking Christ, Jack Chick. Not just where you would think. Oh, this doesn't make me want to do anything with Jesus at all. No. I keep seeing their ugly faces coming for me every single night. Are your nightmares like that, Ralph? Honestly, you make me feel like shit. Only one person raped me. And he was really religious and kind of nice about it. Gave me treats. You know? Used to bring, like, sun chips in. Original, not the cheddar ones. I prefer the cheddar ones. But I mean, like, you can't pick your pedophiles. I get what you're saying. So maybe count your blessings. I just keep seeing the judge coming through the shadows to hurt me again. He liked to, he liked to, he could walk in the front door. Everybody knew. But he, he liked to close the door and then hide in the shadows. It was like a Batman role play. Until I, f- and sort of. It's until- probably a Batman Robin thing, honestly. Yeah, maybe. And then I, f- I, he had to, like, he would just stay there until I got so exhausted I would fall asleep. And then he would, then he would come at me. That's a bummer. All I heard was the sun chip bag opening and then he'd roll me over. Well, of course you're going to hear that. Sun chip bags are ridiculous. <laughs> if you're going to take anything away from this chick tract. Sun chip bags are they're too loud. They, they, they like recycle them and they're just like fucking those, you know, those fuck. thunder sticks you made in, in, in yeah, fuck eighth this, grade. Fuck the message about the rape and how terrible rape sun is. Sun chips, get your sun bags chip, together. Sun chip needs to work their shit out. It's not your fault, Ralph. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Remember Robin Williams? I, I do, yeah. He was, um... Yeah, it was really sad when he died. I'm glad you brought that up, because it's not like I don't have enough wounds open right now. I prayed for my dreams to stop, but they wouldn't. Then I discovered the reason why. Because, uh... Freddy Krueger was haunting my nightmares! Oh, I was gonna vote for traumatic experiences take a lot of time to heal, and sometimes they never really fully heal, and you just need to work through it. No, it was Robert England in the makeup. He came to me, and he was like... Ooh, we didn't stop making them after Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Dream Warriors. We made two more, and then they were really bad. I've never seen those. They actually made four more. Not interested. You sure? Yeah. What about Freddy vs. Jason? No. They fight. No one cares. But Robert England, he's in such classics as a thousand and one maniacs, which is fucking awful. Will you just read your next panel? I wish, I wish I could. I'm illiterate. (laughs) This has been going well. I was supposed to ask God to bless those who hurt me, because God's kind of fucked up. Instead, I wanted them dead and thrown into hell. (gasps) 
Did you just internally gasp? How do you internally <laughs> gasp? I did, and then sounds came out of my ears, or, or my head shook, I can't tell. I was sinning against God because I wasn't praying for them. That? Okay. I mean, he took he takes vengeance kind of often. The Lord tells us to pray for our enemies and bless them and forgive them. What? Yeah, I know, it's a pretty fucked up system no, right now. No, I don't think he doesn't say that. Like Jesus said that. God said, like, kill him, put him to the sword. When we hate and think evil about them all the time, we become tied to them in our minds. They become part of us. That sounds like Deepak Chopra. A little bit. It also reminds me of how much Jack Chick likes to talk shit about the gays. So, a little bit inconsistent in the delivery, Jack. Try again next time. He needs to George Lucas's tracks and just t- do a once-over on all of them and try and make them internally consistent. <laughs> like, be like... Yeah, maybe you should forgive people unless they're gay. But according to him also, gay people are pedophiles, and in this they're forgiving a pedophile. I'm very confused. And that'll make you sick. Forgiveness breaks that powerful hold and we're set free from them. You're still talking all this mumbo jumbo? And it's just flying over my head. Listen, Deepak helped me in a very tough time. If it weren't for him and Oprah, I'd be slinging hash down by the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> We have a Piggly Wiggly? Not anymore. I was single-handedly sustaining it by slinging hash outside of it. That was the only reason people came. And then they'd go inside for re- relatively okay produce. Oh. Well. I also call it hash. <laughs> and I use the term slinging. <laughs> You're more hood than I thought you were, Miss Carpenter. Did, it, did did this work? Did all any of this work? Oh yes, my nightmare stopped, Ralph. That's all you need to do. So remember rape victims who can't get over the horrible trauma. Just fucking, just fucking outthink it. Just <laughs> forgive them Please. in your head. Just forgive them and pray for them. And then the trauma will be gone 100%. Please go get help instead. <laughs> But what about those guys who hurt us? Are they forgiven? Not unless they repent. They'll die and stand naked and alone before God. Each one will be terrified as God casts them into the lake of fire. I feel like that's a better fate than being gang raped. A little bit. I mean, I guess it depends on your opinion on fire. Also, dicks being forcibly shoved into orifices. Neither of which is that fun. Are you kidding? No, Ralph. That's called the Great White Throne Judgment. Wow, that's a good title. I'm not even going to look it up. I have a I have a hard time believing the Bible literally says the phrase Great White Throne Judgment. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with it does say that just because this is for the billions who refused God's forgiveness. Depart from me, ye cursed. They rejected the good news that Jesus died in their place. I hope you'll miss that judgment, Ralph. When I narrate, my voice gets deep like a guy. So does mine. Wow, that really scares me. Do those people just burn up? No, Ralph, the Bible says, The smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, because they refused Jesus' gift of eternal life. This doesn't sound very moral to me. Like, I really would like them to die in a horrible... And they deserve a lot of punishment. But to burn for eternity? Yeah. It's just how it works. Just constantly? Yeah, forever. Wouldn't they be acclimated to it over time and just be like, ah. Nope, it consistently gets hotter for eternity. That's amazing. I know. God is a really, 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 really good scientist, surprisingly. Jesus has a gift for me? I don't get it. Okay, first smell my fingers. They smell like, um... Like musk melon, but like old musk melon. Okay, you're right about the musk part. It's not melon? Not melon. <laughs> okay, it's artificial melon. Is it, it is it melon douche? It's my butt. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, Miss Carpenter. <laughs> Why would you smell someone's finger? Let's be real honest. You've had enough traumatic experiences to know not to trust anyone anymore. You smelled my finger, it was in my butt. You're welcome. Anyway, back to my moving speech. Jesus Christ is the only begotten Son. By him all things were created that are in heaven and that are in earth. He did something very special for you. He came here from heaven to save us all from going to hell. 
this is heavy stuff, Ralph. I'm the cool uh, counselor at your church. Well, she- you also slang at the Piggly Wiggly, so... <laughs> All have sinned and deserve hell, but Jesus took our punishment for himself. The angel stood in shock watching God's son die for you, even though that was part of the plan or something. I, it's not very clear. His precious blood was shed to wash away your sins. That doesn't seem to make much sense. No, it does not. Again, oh. I'm parroting things I've heard others say. Oh, okay. So if you could just bear with me, I don't really have answers to your questions. I'm very used to bearing it. Do you care? You'd better. At your death, Jesus will either be your savior or your enemy. It's time to choose. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did you just threaten me? It's not a threat, it's just that either you're with Jesus or you're against him and he's gonna destroy you for all eternity. I'm a rape victim. And you are trying to talk me down right now. I don't think this is the best time for you to be throwing that kind of shit in my face. Well, if you don't want to be hurt, then just let Jesus do whatever he wants to you. As a, rape, ex- as a rape victim, you can understand that. This is the most horrible metaphor that anyone could on purpose make. Yeah. It, it was trying to be serious. Today, the entire world sees Jesus as a nutcase. Good. They, they still hate him. Even though a third of the world is Christian, ignore that fact. And the Muslims respect Jesus. They still hate him for saying, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Oh, that really did irk me. Oh, I'm so mad. That, why? Whatever. But Jesus is coming back soon. (laughs) For reals this time, guys. The world will be horrified when he destroys the world's armies at Armageddon and rules in Jerusalem as Israel's Messiah and King of King of Kings. Bear in mind, this is the good guy. (laughs) Not just in the story, but in, like, the world as far as oh, Christians are concerned. Also, he's he's humongous now. He has a face. Good for him. Well, yeah, he's, well, this time he's Jesus. Yeah. But look at the scale. Like, there's people size, it looks and like then the... angel size, and then there's Megazord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're, like, groveling. That's real fucked up. Why? Okay, they are, though. And why is it always, like, Greco-Roman? I don't know. I'm glad he's bringing that architecture style back along with, like, some cloud motif gonna look real nice if you make him your savior now you'll reign with him when he returns jesus said he that believeth not is condemned already how about it ralph do you want to get saved from going to hell i mean i do but i also don't want the responsibility of reigning with jesus to destroy millions of people it's okay you'll be a figurehead it's fine so let's pay jesus's protection money by praying ask jesus to come into your heart just like your dead friend (laughs) Oh, God. The flashbacks. Rwanda. I believe you, Jesus. Save me and come into my heart. Forgive my sins and help me forgive Judge Stone. I give him to you. Ralph repented and his sins were forgiven. He became a child of what God. What sins did Ralph have? <laughs> he was being he was... way He was being way too sexy and seducing <laughs> that man right into his oh butt. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, this is the worst. Next morning, last night Ralph gave his heart to Jesus. So you're gonna be going with us to heaven too? Awesome! Hey Ralph, there's a call for you. Yeah, I'm coming. Who is it? I don't know. I'm just here eating this 90s food. What's this? Is this a fucking push pop? Is this a fucking gogurt? I think it's a Hot Pocket. Is it a Hot Pocket? I don't know. It's the best looking Hot Pocket I've ever seen. Maybe it's one of those Tina Burritos? <laughs> those are like 48 cents and they're filled with gruel? Yeah, that's probably it. This is the best. Ralph, did you hear the news? What? Judge Stone dropped dead last night. He had a heart attack. Is this... I can't tell if this is poetic justice or not, or... I mean, he was an old guy anyways. Apparently, it was some sort of strange serial murder. He was cut with a Y in his chest, and someone came in there. I'm very confused. It came into his heart? I know. Did you check the morgue? The morgue guy. The morgue guy has impunity. Huh. He taught us all a little something about ourselves. Let's be real honest. Anyway, (laughs) Jesus isn't playing games. He gave his life for you. Then he rose from the dead. Is Jesus your hitman? Is that what we're saying? So everyone gets a second chance except for Judge Stone. (laughs) (laughs) He gets no chance to redeem himself. I don't even even know the... 
what just fucking happened? Okay. So many rapes. Okay. A su- it started out with a suicide, a rape, and then we kind of made up a, a post-mortem thing. But then there was more rape, and then Rwanda gets for some brought reason. up. Okay. But yeah. also, it, Jesus will kill people for you. And everyone else in the whole world, and it's your responsibility to do it with them. And just, you'll be fine as long as you do whatever Jesus tells you to. I, which is fairly coercive. This is the worst one. This of is the all worst one? Really? This is worse than the one that everyone wants us to read. Lisa? Yep. Yeah, we're never doing Lisa. <laughs> I that, can't believe we did this one. Yeah. So. Jesus Christ. Anyway. If you want, you can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can check out our Patreon right here at the Clickety Click. <laughs> Is that what we're calling those? Clickety Clicks? Clickety Click. Okay, you can subscribe to the channel and see more Chick Tracks because we've done a shit ton of these. Uh, I think that's it. So until next time, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this has been the Bible Reloaded. With It's Not Your Fault. It was, it was a little bit. It was definitely his fault. It was really sexy.